I love animals, most of the time. We spent a few weeks reconfiguring our garage and turning it into a creative space, a jam room, if you will. It's partially my office. It's also a laundry room. Your poop? Yeah, I found it. First I smelt it, then I found it. And this was probably wishful thinking, but I had hoped that our cat would not return to her defecation corner once the space was clean. But unfortunately, our cat is a creature of habit and she made her way back and she defecated. So being the innovator that I am, I put up a temporary piece of wood. And this wood blockade has worked to keep her out, but it's not very functional for myself, for my kids, or for my wife. This ends today. Needless to say, it is not working very well. So today I'm going to build my own modern animal gate. Keep it a poop free environment. Poop free is the way to be. Quick stop at Lowe's. Just getting some of the necessities to build out this gate. Cat gate, dog gate. Got some returns first, some wood. We're gonna swap them out. Ow, Greek proof. Double action, spring hinge. So here's the traditional baby gate. So it's on a pin so it can swivel. This one costs 69 70, bucks. 75 with tax. We got five pieces of wood, two hinges, three things of Pringles, ready to go. Well, I can confidently say we're off to a bad start. These hinges that we picked up aren't hinges, but it's a single hinge. It's not gonna work. Should have seen this in the store. One count. The heck? What the heck? What even is this? I was just saying today that we have the worst luck with hinges. Anybody else out there have bad luck with hinges? So what's the plan? Let's just build it and then get a hinge tomorrow. Okay, there's a lizard here watching our every move and I tasked Shiloh with catching him. He's going, Shy. He's going. You see him jump? He's right? going. Mm -hmm. Alright, go one? get him. Safari Jim. Got him. Don't let him in the logs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's just flopping around. What a cute little doggy. I'm just gonna grab you. <sighs> Ow, he bit me! <laughs> he got free! What the heck? He's free. He didn't have teeth, he just felt like, like a duck when it texts you. He bit me! So, we have this really cool light. It used to have a big glass bulb in it, but it broke. We'll replace it someday. Our kids, when they would unplug this light, would just pull on the cord. And this is a vintage light. So, it eventually just ripped out. This is the plug. It's got two ports inside. How's this gonna work? Okay, I understand. I see the problem here. You can see where it broke off in here and this one looks like it just slipped out. So I'm gonna loosen these screws on each side. So what it do you always say the best? Down here. I think she's pooped somewhere else. There's a lizard in here! <laughs> no, are you serious? Ew. That scared Where me. Where was it? Did it run off? It's over there. It's under the drum set. Shy! I thought it was cat poop. <laughs> it's like it smelled like And then cute. it ran. <laughs> and then it moved. It's staring at me. It's a disgusting creature. <laughs> Oh! 
how he's how he wants to stay. How oh. random that he just <laughs> caught a lizard outside. Where were we? Just gonna trim this down so it's a nice clean cut. I need a knife or a blade. Got one of those? I got this separated. Now I'm thinking I'll be able to pull it. Now I gotta slide on the little thingy. Okay. Nice. Never gets old ever. When you fix something yourself and it works, there's nothing better than that feeling. I mean, creating things like projects is fulfilling in itself, but when you fix something that's broken, that's where the magic is. All right. Now we get to finally get rid of this really nice makeshift <laughs> blockade. I can't believe you're using that. Back to work. Lizard catcher. I bet we could get this gate cut, assembled, and not installed yet because we don't have the hinges, but cut and assembled in 45 minutes. Okay. Let's time it. Set a timer for 45 minutes. Timer's ticking, let's go. Great. What happened? Just probably blew a fuse. It's not a fuse. So the saw just broke? We have the heart skill saw. Let's do it. I'm gonna figure out what happened to the chop saw, but not today. Because uh, this video is actually brought to you in part by Heart Tools. We have our battery operated skill saw. So I'm gonna switch to this and I'm gonna try and make all my 45 degree cuts with the skill saw. Our skill saw also has the capability of cutting 45 degree angles. All right. Tag team. Tag sweepies in. I can get the glue open. Does it count that our, I mean, it we hit the timer before our electricity. We blew through like at least seven or eight minutes by trying to fix that saw. Glue. Never underestimate the power of glue. When I said 45 minutes, I didn't think that was gonna include like staining it. I pre-drilled some holes so that I could screw the frame together because it will give it some more strength. We're going to get creative and artistic with the so, cross pieces. Yeah. Glue on that, secure that in. Uh-oh. Uh, there goes our timer. We had a lot of setbacks. We did have a lot of setbacks. Like 45 minutes without setbacks, but whatever. <laughs> So, this is how far we got with 45 minutes. Pulling off the other edge. So we are gonna do some straight up and down and then some angled this way. Try that. Our cat's pretty fat, so we're doing a little bit wider slats. She doesn't really mess around with like squeezing through tight spaces or jumping over things. So it makes our life a little bit easier. So beautiful, those birds making their pretty songs. So we just finished one, two, three, four, 45 degree angles. And then we're gonna change it up a little bit, kind of get artsy with it. Going uh, vertical against the 45 angles. Yep. Probably do four cuts. Okay. She can't fit through that, right? No. Mm -hmm. Three. 
in the fourth. Jokes. You've already made that joke today like three times. Is that right side up? No. I want this to be the bottom. Like that? Yeah. Wow, that looks good. What do they think? They always come out at the right time. What do you think? Wait, is that one of those baby gates you were looking at? Yeah, it's a gate for Nobi not to poop in the garage. This Whoa. same gate on Etsy, no offense to whoever made it. And I'm sure that their crafts, like sure that whoever we got this idea from is like craftsman, craftsman. and there's no cracky, pe I don't know. Ours is not perfect, but this is definitely going to get the job done and it looks great. Yeah. I say that a lot. I'm always like, it's not perfect. I don't mean that in like a derogatory way. I mean that just like it functions. It's close to what we want and there might be some little holidays is what we call it in the hair industry little spots that you go oh oops some of those holidays holidays yeah I like that so we're just gonna clean it up a little give it a quick sand put some stain on it and then take it to the space and see if it fits before we put the hinges on it <laughs> see if it fits we probably should have checked the square when we first cut it huh got a few little nails pop through so we're just clipping these off Call me Brittany, because oops, I did it again. Ah, oh, man, it's the next morning. Uh, last night I ran back to Lowe's to get a different hinge because the hinge we got didn't work. And the reason we got that hinge in the first place is because they didn't have the hinge that we wanted. We wanted to use like a saloon door hinge, you know, like a restaurant doors that swing both ways and then they just like balance in the middle. Apparently these hinges are hard to find because even though they're available online, they were not available in store. I said it at the beginning of this vlog, we have the worst luck with hinges and our bad luck continues. You know, sometimes your first choice is your best choice. And we went online, we found the hinge that we were originally looking for to use for this project. Seven bucks, super cheap, and it was available for overnight shipping. So I see the package at the front door, which means we're gonna be able to finish this project today after all. Let's go. Okay, this is our new hardware. This this is all we needed to make this thing work. So it's got these little plastic molds on there and they fit together. So when you open your gate, it closes and it uses gravity to force the gate back into the this position. That's backwards. is grazing the edge of that hinge. The gate was actually hitting, just grazing right here on this hinge edge. So I'm remove the screw from right here, flip this over, and then when my gate swings, now it won't it won't be grazing this edge here. All right. You got the wrong piece. You got the wrong We did it. Yeah. And thank goodness for Amazon Prime that delivered it at 10 p.m. last night. You want to test it out? Using my pajamas. Your hair looks so full. This is my day after St. Patrick's Day dinner hair. <laughs> and you haven't touched your coffee. Bring it. I earned it. It's probably cold down this stairwell. Here we go. Effortless entry. Effortless. Self-closing, no hands. Lots of laundry. That's how I'll do it. Okay. 
Well, you gotta walk through it. But I whacked the wall. <laughs> the gate is super lightweight, so it's not like, it's not reacting the way that I completely thought it would. Like if I add this tape measure on here, it gives it enough weight to respond a lot faster and more accurately. How it's good pretty. It looks. I'm gonna stand back here and look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's kind of cool. It's actually really cool. And the the way that we did the straight up and down, like the vertical ones, yep. flows with our vertical slats on that side. Yep. And then it's like, oh, it goes into the corner, so they're angled. Yep. It's very nice. I love it. I love how it looks. Yeah, now we just gotta finish the door behind the door. I guess this is a good time to wrap up this vlog, finish our coffee, and uh, we'll update you guys if this gate is keeping our cat from pooping in the corner of our garage. <laughs> what an interesting vlog. What an interesting concept. This is our life. Thanks for joining us this morning in our PJs. You guys have any animal stories you wanna share with us? Leave them in the comments below. Where's the weirdest place your animals pooped? <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you know when the videos are posted. If you want to provide us with our next cup of coffee, we have a special thanks button below this video. So you guys can hit that thanks button below and fuel us through projects like this and the many more videos to come in the future. We're right on the threshold of 50,000 subscribers. So I think by the, by the next video, by next week, we just might hit it. Don't quit it. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Thank you guys. Yeah. Cheers.